In this video, you're going to learn how to change the color of any image within Instant. Let me show you how. First things first, simply sign up for a free Canva account. If you haven't signed up yet, look in the description box below where there's a link to Canva. Once you've signed up, click on create a design. We are going to choose a custom size. It all depends and based on the image that you want to go ahead and edit. But let's go ahead and just create a square format. We're going to go with a 1080 by 1080 image or canvas and create a design. And let's say you wanna change the color of a logo that you have such as this one here, uh, because you may not have the raw file, the source file, like a Photoshop file. You just wanna be able to change a basic color on your logo. Simply drag and drop your image to the blank canvas. I'm just going to expand this, resizing it. Next, all you're going to wanna to do is click on edit photo. And Canva's got this new feature called Magic Studio and that's what we'll be utilizing. Under Magic Studio, they've got a tool called Magic Edit. Click on Magic Edit. That'll take you to this Magic Edit mode where you can now select an area or the particular part that you want to actually edit. So let's say we wanna change this bear and the color of this bear. First, change the brush size to suit the appropriate size of the image. In this case, it is a little bit big, so I will reduce the size of the brush down to somewhere like 12. Now you can see it's a little more refined and we will just highlight over the area that we wanna change, all right? So we'll just keep highlighting, highlighting the entirety of the actual image, or at least the part that we wanna change. And then I'll click on continue. And next, step two is to describe your edit. What do you want to do? In this case, we are going to change the color. I'm going to go a little bit wild and crazy just so we can see the difference and it contrasts. So I've just entered a prompt called change color to green. And next we'll click on generate and see what this produces. And within about 20 seconds, it's generated and changed the color of the bear. It's not so accurate. You can see some missing parts. There are some variations to different types of greens, not really noticeable, but you can select different variations. Let's say this one instead or this one. So it's a little bit brighter. If you feel it's not so accurate, we can always go back to brush over the area. And let's reset the brushing and we'll go a little bit bigger with the brush size. Let's try this one more time. We'll then highlight over the bear so you can detect all the areas of the actual bear here. All right, I've covered the entirety of the bear, this image. I'll click on continue. I'll use the same prompt, change color to green and click on generate. And there we go, that looks a bit better. There's some parts right here that could have been improved, but for the most part, it's changed most of it, right? And if we click on the different variations, there are different variations there, but it's done an all right job in changing the color of that bear. So you can rinse and repeat the steps to change the color of whatever image you have. I wanna show you another example. This one's a little more complex with a gradient on the logo. If we click on it, same steps, click on edit photo, click on magic edit, and then we're going to brush over the area that we want to change color. So we'll just go and increase the size. I could select the whole image, but let's go ahead and just do this manually. Uh, given, for example, you've got the logo as well as text going on, but you would basically follow the same steps by highlighting and brushing over what you wanna change. Now that it's selected, I'll go ahead and click on continue. You can see that I didn't really highlight and brush very accurately and precisely, but let's see what this produces. And now we are going to change the color. I wanna change this to a green gradient instead of this purple bluish gradient that we've got. So I'll say change color to a green gradient. Okay, and let's see what this produces. We'll click on generate. And voila, this one turned out pretty good. We've got the green gradient going on and here's another variation, here's another there. We can also generate new results by clicking once more. And here we go, we've got different shades of green and we've got this extra red uh, variation. So as you can see, it's 
Still able to figure out, you know, changing the color of a gradient based logo with a few clicks of your mouse button, including some fun brushing that you'll be doing, including a simple prompt to add. You can change the color of any image within an instant. So go ahead, give it a try and let me know if it worked for you. In the meantime, do take care and I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next.